he was in PEA when he arrived and we made the decision quite quickly to stop resuscitation. So it's probably 15 minutes. But he had been down considerably longer pre-hospital. And there was no attempt at CPR for about 10 minutes at the scene until Dick... It's never straightforward. Sorry. Uh, did you consider any other action? Such as? Uh, thoracotomy. Yes, I thought about it. But you decided against it? It wasn't as straightforward as that. It's never straightforward. Would a thoracotomy have maybe been worth a go? I don't see what there was to lose. Well, I didn't consider it was worth cracking open a patient's chest on the slightest possibility. And I don't believe any consultant who'd been under those circumstances would have done anything differently. Martin, you've been in the ED long enough to know how resus works. Any thoughts? Any other questions or observations regarding this case? OK, let's move on. Martin, you had two sudden deaths in one day. Uh, I'd like to start with the 19-year-old who suffered the subarachnoid. Uh, Jason Lister. Ethan, you were treating her as well, yeah? This was the youth who had taken ketamine. Yes, uh, the initial injury was a fall, is that correct? Was there multiple injuries? Yeah. Yes, the, he was a mess. So, where did the ketamine come in? He'd taken ketamine prior to his fall. He had a therapeutic dose here. He reacted badly to the drug, became hypertensive. Post-mortem indicated this led to the rupture of a pre-existing berry aneurysm. We... We, um... Well, I think what is probably concerning people here is the fact that we have had three sudden deaths in a very short space of time. Now, the questions we need to consider are what are the commonalities? And more importantly, is there anything we need to change when handling a similar case in the future? Ash, for what it's worth, I just want to see you did what any of us would have done. Well, not everyone has a daughter like mine. Without her, this situation wouldn't have happened. Yes, well, uh, well, the thing I'm learning, Edie, is that you've got to go with your instincts and hesitate and always lost. So what should my instincts have been with a 19-year-old full of ketamine? Oh, yeah. Just what you did. I got it wrong. No, no, he got it wrong. He lied, he tried to get away with it, and he couldn't. No, the, um, thing I was referring to was the thoracotomy that didn't happen. You know, I honestly believe a life could have been saved there. Yeah, well, I've handed in my notice. You what? About Jason, I told Zoe, so I'm just working out my notice now. Where are you going? Nowhere. I need to spend some time with Ella. Yes, of course. Um, well, that's a shame. I have to do something. I can see that. Can you tell me about that? Ash? Friends resignation? I wanted to get a replacement lined up before I went public. Could be a loss. I think it's a mistake. Do you? His daughter's been nothing but trouble since day one. He's quit his job for her. What next? Giving in to her has been his problem all along. I think it's only going to make things worse. But what do I know? I don't even have children. Well, I guess the only thing is to let him try. Is that 100% oxygen? 250 of saline. 
Life wound in a kitchen fire. That's interesting. Three, two, one. Yeah, some kind of uh, accident. This is Mr. Ponzino. This is his father. Can you tell us what happened? Anything might help. I'm not sure. Yeah. Some brandy caught fire. There was confusion, but not for long. And then there she was on the floor bleeding. All right, we need to get you seen too as well. Oh, so I'm not bothered about me. I need to stay here. We've uh, got the nap. Uh, can I see that before you take it to the police, please? I'll start CPR. I'm not losing another patient. No! Let's do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen then. Dad! Can you please get the theatre ready now. What's happening? <laughs> Run out of options. Bella! Penetrating trauma? It's always an option. Bella! A thoracotomy. Always risks. Baby! Better the surgeon, the lower the risk. Seth! Ash! <laughs> Charlie, could you sort that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a rapid sequence induction. Can we get any? What for? Her? Your daughter's in a critical condition, but she's in very good hands. No, Zed! The, the doctors have to. Okay. All right, deep breath. We'll start with the bilateral thoracostomies, okay? Let's go. Bring your incision to meet mine in the middle. Scissors, please. Okay. Bone cutters. Okay. Okay, spread the wrist from. We try it up. It swabs. Please. How's it looking? Mm -hmm. I... Right, I need to get these clots first. Okay. Okay, there's no obvious myocardial injury. There's a tear in the pericardial vein. Got it. Uh, clip, please. Can't see a thing. Suction. All right, starting internal massage. Anything? Just give it a minute. Got something. All right, Fletch, give me some good news, please. Good news on the way. She's got a pulse. Oh. Hi. What happened? The procedure went as well as we could have hoped. Thank you. Thank you so much. Eh? Okay, she'll be taken up to theatre and then into ITU. I'll get someone to show you. Thank you. 